Oh, the color wheel. <sighs> Hi, I'm Gina from Fibers and Design. Welcome. Thanks for watching. Uh, today's video is going to be about color theory and color palettes. Now, yes, if you're new to weaving or with art or in yeah or creating art, then you might be a little stumped about color theory and choosing the right colors that you should be combining or staying away from while you're weaving. If you have any questions about weaving and the colors, then this is the video for you. All colors come from three main colors or primary colors that are yellow, red, and blue. By mixing these colors, you create secondary colors. Secondary colors include green, orange, and purple. When a primary color and a secondary color are mixed, this creates tertiary colors. For example, yellow-green, red-orange, and blue-purple. Colors can be divided into two groups, warm colors and cool colors. Colors between red, orange, and yellow are warm colors. They are vivid and bright. Colors between purple, blue, and green are cool colors. These colors are calm and remind you of nature. By choosing two to three colors of each group, you can create a balanced color palette. Colors sit together on a color wheel. The three colors that sit closest to each other are called analogous colors. Due to their proximity and sharing a similar primary color, it's easy to find harmony when building composition with them. Colors also sit opposite from each other on the color wheel. In comparison to analogous colors, these colors create harmony by combining one primary color and a secondary color. Due to this contrast, they complement each other and create balance. Here are a few woven samples of a few color combinations. In the top two sections are samples of analogous color combinations, while here in the last two are combinations of warm colors and cool colors. In this sample here, you can see the combination of these two complementary colors, orange and blue, and you can really see how they make each other's color pop out even more. Now, if you're still new to mixing colors, it still might be a little intimidating, but I hope that these examples can help. Um, here, what I've done is created a few samples of color palettes that I've used or will use. And all I'm doing here is just mixing a bit of the value of the color. So some darker colors and some lighter colors, but still within those color families that we talked about in today's video. If you're interested in a few videos that deal more about color theory and color development, then give me a thumbs up so I can know and I can make a few more videos that show um, or that explore different color combinations and um, testing different warp and weft colors together and to give you a better idea about how to mix these colors together. All right, I hope that this was very helpful for you. And if you're still having questions about which colors go better together, um, on fibersanddesign.com, you can find a complete guide to color theories and color concepts or creating your own color palette when weaving. So if you have any more questions, please take a look there. And if not, uh, if I haven't answered your questions, please leave a comment down below if you have any questions about developing color concepts or color palettes on your own, and I'd love to help you. And please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos and content about weaving. Again, you can find more information at fibersanddesign.com and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.